Welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas visiting with Seth Yoder, illustrator of Cowboy Joel and the Wild Wild West. Uh, this is uh, another awesome children's book put out by JPV Press, uh, located in Winesburg, Ohio, and yet reaching parts across the country. It is amazing how this local publishing company is impacting way beyond its borders. Isn't, are you surprised by the um, scope of people you're going to get to meet and reach through this work now with JPV Press? It's been really amazing. <laughs> I mean, even even a couple of years ago, I would never have said like that I would be illustrating a book by an author who's, you know, spoken on Fox. Right. And like, <laughs> what the world? <laughs> right. It's really cool. Um, yeah, just Marlon does... I don't know how he does it. He connects with so many people, and mm-hmm. and I don't know how he makes those connections. But it, it's it's a blessing to JPV Press and to the people that are able to read the material of the authors that come through J that go through JPV Press. Uh, it's just an amazing way to bless people. And that author that he's mentioning is Daisy Gagnon, who is the mom of the Gagnon family uh, right now, currently nine children, uh, seven who they have had the traditional way, and then two others newly uh, fostering, and then the rest, do the math, adopted children, many with special needs. I just need to know your connection with her how has that impacted your life? How has working on this particular story impacted your life, Seth? It's made me very much aware of the what um, disabled, or and not necessarily disabled, but um, children with, um, say, autism or some kind of facial deformity like Joel has, their feelings are are just like our feelings. Mm-hmm. The only thing that's different is the way they look. And and we are we so often treat people by the way they look rather than than by the way they feel and by the way they would, you know, we all want to be treated. Mm-hmm. And uh Stacy actually at the beginning of the project, she had me she told she she gave me an assignment, a quote assignment <laughs> mm-hmm. um to watch the movie Wonder. Mhm. Um, we spoke about that yesterday. Yes, and mm-hmm. that movie just that that also gave me a, a, a new perspective. Such a good movie. If you have not seen it, you should go absolutely go see that one. Wonder, but um, it just talks about how the disabled kids feel. It just does such a good job of portraying their feelings and yeah, their struggles. Mm-hmm. Like we were saying, they did not sign up for this. Mm-mm. This is the way they were born. Just the way. You were born the way you were, and I'm born the way I am. They didn't. Nobody signed up and said, "Oh yeah, I want that. I want to deal with that in my lifetime." Exactly. That never happened. Did you get a chance to um, FaceTime or anything with the real Joel? Have you had any interaction with the real Joel? I have not. Just um, his mom. Hoping to sometime mm-hmm. here in the future, but uh, not exactly sure when that'll happen. Yeah. So everything was done through Stacy, mm-hmm. uh, letting you know. And uh, how was she to work with? great <laughs> she's she's so fun mm-hmm. um she's a very busy woman i don't know how she does it all um she yeah she's just so great to work with and she she does a great job of you know saying um how she she feels so you know i'd give her a, a illustrated spread as a proof or whatever and you know she'd say oh add some things here and the more we did it, the more I could kind of tell just what she was thinking about it based yeah. off of how she how she would react. I did not tell her this, um, but uh, every if I would email her a spread and she texted back with something like, oh, my word, that's so awesome. Like five exclamation points or whatever. <laughs> I knew she liked it. If she, if she said I like it, then I knew she that there was something that was a little bit off. <laughs> so you could begin to like tell how she, you know. What she thinks about it, and mm-hmm. but she did a very fine job of uh, communicating what she wanted in the book uh, to me as an illustrator. Do you have plans of doing more children's books, more illustrating in the future? Did you enjoy doing a children's book? I I thoroughly enjoyed it. I have probably uh, somewhere around two hundred forty five hours in it, and. Because I started in October and ended in March, 
And so, yeah, like, I can't think of anything that I didn't like about it other than, you know, in the, in the heat of the, of the illustrating drawing so many small details, it just, it takes a while. So that can get monotonous. Um, but I love it. I, I love doing it. And yeah, I think a lot of people and, and people listening right now love the whole idea of being involved in something like this. Think, oh, I would like to maybe illustrate children's books. But I think what you've just done is given us a good dose of reality there that publishing companies have serious deadlines and they take them very seriously. And you had 245 hours of work in this illustrating, which a lot, I know they say good writing is in the rewriting. I'm going to guess that good illustrating is in the re-illustrating as well. Absolutely. Going back and, and just tweaking and tweaking and finding. And then... How do you know, okay, I'm done. We're calling this done because you can keep doing it forever, <laughs> right? But you've given us such a dose of reality, Seth, as far as what's really involved with this. What would you say to someone who is thinking they would love to start getting into this as well? Um, draw a lot. Do what you – just do it. Like, um, There's only so much planning you can do. You just have to start drawing. Get better at drawing. Um the opportunities will come, but because I feel very blessed with this opportunity. I, I honestly, like I didn't do anything to try to get where, mm -hmm. where, where I am now other than draw a lot. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I was interested in graphic design. So I was like, Hey, there's a company that needs a graphic designer. And so mm -hmm. went there and, and stuff just happens. And yeah. So like, start drawing. <laughs> start drawing. Very good advice. Um, would there be any apps or would there be any resources that you would recommend somebody check into that have helped you? You said you're self-taught. What did you use? So not as much for the for the uh, actual drawing. That's mm -hmm. just something I've always loved to do for Photoshop and, and also, you know, for... Um, for many different skills, uh, online courses like um, uh, lynda.com, which is L-Y-N-D-A.com, uh, Skillshare, like uh, there's there's many different websites that have professional courses, and it's like a monthly subscription, I think, and then you, you go on there and you watch what you want to watch. It's video format, and depending on what you pay, you can get exercise files and yeah, that's that's where I learned Photoshop. Anyway, you could mm -hmm. learn you could learn art and drawing on there as well. Um, but those are extremely helpful because they're professional courses. It's different from going to YouTube and just looking stuff up because mm -hmm. on YouTube everybody's a professional, but nobody's a professional. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> uh, There's something different about holding now a finished product in your hand. You you back in your shop, you see all the sketches and everything that went into this. But it's got to be a different feeling now that this is all bound and an actual book. Talk to me about that. When you see this, what, what do you think? Um, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not quite sure what to think. Uh, it's when you hold a book in your hand, for one thing, it's print. It's on paper. It's going to look different than it did on the screen. And I think... Also, you can use that to your advantage in illustrating. Um, if you print stuff out in the proofing process, it also looks different. Um, and then just so when I was finished, when I was finished illustrating and they sent the book off to press, I didn't look at the book at all mm -hmm. until it came uh, as a physical copy. Um, and that, that was just really cool. You get to see it uh, from a fresh perspective. Uh, obviously not. 100% fresh but um, you see things that you missed before and you know also holding a real book like that's that's also the way you improve is um, you just start cranking stuff out and once you get the finished product then you see stuff that you're like oh I should have done that but I'll do that next time oh I hope there wasn't a lot of that because this is absolutely beautiful <laughs> you'd be the only one saying oh I shouldn't have done that because <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful well, again we're you. talking about Cowboy Joel and the Wild Wild West very very cool that you're getting to work first time around out of the gate on something with such a deep 
message for children. Talk to me a little bit about that. The fact that there's a, a deep spiritual message here that if God made it, it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. It might not look the way you're expecting, but God doesn't make mistakes. And here's a beautiful person. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, I think it's it's so cool that um, that Stacy. So like the whole story is not like a a spiritual story per se. Mm-hmm. Like you could read mm-hmm. it and get a moral out of it, even without thinking it's a, you know, like a biblical story even. Right. But it is very much infused with biblical truth because we, as people, God created us um, just the way he wants us. Uh, Psalm 139, 14 says, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm-hmm. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows right well. Mm. And that's that's what this book shows Joel learning, and that's what children need to learn, and that's what uh, that's what I need to learn. No, <laughs> that's we, what adults all, need to learn all, exactly. Yeah. And it's just such a vital human message. Mm-hmm. If you could recommend this book to others, let me hear you give a, a sales pitch for it. So. You're in sales. It's a fun. Well, I'm actually in design. So in design, <laughs> this book talks about uh, how to deal with bullying. Um, if your kid's dealing with bullying, or if you're dealing with bullying, uh, you can read through it, look at the fun illustrations, read the great message in the story, and just relate to Joel. Mm-hmm. And it's worth the money. <laughs> you know, um, bullying has become more finesse these days because children have new ways to be mean to each other. We've got all kinds of technical ways to uh, to say mean things about another person. So how wonderful that we've got something like this that really belongs in every family's library, on every children's bookshelf, in every classroom, every church's library shelf. We've got Cowboy Joel and the Wild Wild West, written by the Gagnon family, illustrated by Seth Yoder. And uh, Seth, I'm telling you, what a beautiful, beautiful job. These are beautiful illustrations. Thank you. And a, and a beautiful story. And thank you so much for what you bring to our community. Thank you.